Andrew, after about an hour and a half meeting here inside the mayor's office downtown, officials emerged with what they say is the beginning of a plan to curb crime in Carrick. Different groups with similar worries and one goal gathered here behind this door, exchanging ideas on how to make the Carrick community safer. And they say in that short time, they agreed to try several things. Working together to, to reach out to the youth, ways in which we can do that, ways in which we can get members of the community to become more proactive in their community, in the Crime Watch program, um, and, and in helping to take care of the neighborhood itself. For Father Stephen Cresack, coming together is key. His parish, St. Basil, canceled their church festival, a 50 year tradition, after fights by hundreds of kids on opening day created fear in the community. This may have been part of a turf related problem. Councilwoman Natalia Rudiak says that makes neighborhood watch essential. In Carrick and Overbrook, though, Rudiak says there are already 86 block watch groups, so they are working on a more targeted plan. There's still a lot of, you know, uh, Cross neighborhood um, issues with, with, with young people that we need to work out. And whether they can and just how quickly will determine the future of St. Basil's Festival. If it were to happen again, it would be next year sometime, but again, I'm not sure if we can even get the volunteers to come and do it again after their experience this year. Officials say a final, more detailed plan will be revealed in September. Live downtown, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.